I am here talking with Gabrielle Bell, comic book artist at the ALA Anaheim Convention in 2012. Hi, so um, what do you have to show to um, librarians at the conference this year? Well, I have my new book, The Lawyers, and it's a sort of a memoir, a sort of hybrid memoir, and semi-autobiographical short stories. Um, and it covers a span about, of about four or five years of my, my life and it's semi-autobiographical because it uses memoir as a sort of springboard to tell sort of fantastical stories and explore issues like feminism and a lot of literary and philosophical ideas. I also have this July Diary which is a comic I, I did on the internet, it, of, I did a comic every day for the month of July, and I sort of edited it into a 31-day, 31 31-page 31 comic book. And what was going on in your life um, around the time that that is covered in The Voyeurs? Um, what can we expect from that? Well, it is a lot of traveling. I went to Japan to work on a movie with Michelle Gondry and then went to, did a lot of touring and promotional comics and, and then there are some relationship stories and um, also struggles with just being an artist. Cool. But mainly it goes from New York to places around the country and then back to New York, around and the world a little bit. Are you living in New York these days? Yes, I live in Brooklyn. Excellent. Um, and how did you get your start in comics? What what got you sort of um, making comics and why do comics um, speak to you as a storyteller? Um, I was always interested in comics. I always wanted to be a writer, but I was also very much in love with drawings. and. Um, it was, so I, when I was young, I couldn't decide if I wanted to be an artist or if I wanted to be a writer. They were really very closely tied. And then I discovered this, this whole world of comic books, of um, like independent or alternative underground comics. And they were doing all kinds of really amazing things. And I, I mean, I, I saw the, I think a lot of cartoonists fall in they they, they fall in love with the in, indie comics, the underground comics. Mm -hmm. I saw a lot of potential. I saw that I could be a writer and an artist, and I could spend my whole life exploring it. And how has the um, how's the ALA conference been for you this year? What are librarians saying about your work? Um, I think I have a good connection with librarians and with readers and, and writers because my work is much more um, writerly oriented. It is more, I'm more informed by prose and fiction than by comics. I mean, I love comics. Mm -hmm. But, um, and I, I think that is a connection there. And, but also I think that my work is very simple and, and, and it, connects more to non-comic artists, not to separate myself from cartoonists, <laughs> but it's pretty easy to read and direct. You don't have to be versed in the, the universe of comics. And um, what's a book that you've read recently, a comic that you've read recently that, you'd, um, that you want to tell the world about? It's been a while since I've read comics. <laughs> What's your favorite then? My favorite comic. Or the biggest influences on, on your work? My biggest influence is Julie Doucet. But she doesn't really do comics anymore. But she's left a strong legacy. Very visceral, dark, beautifully hatched, cross hatched. Very beautiful work. Um, that was Julie Doucet? Julie Doucet, she did a comic called Dirty Plot in All right. the 90s, very um, kind of surreal, dark, 
feminine in a very sort of riot girl kind of way. Um, but there is a lot of there's a lot of really amazing ta talent that's happening right now. My publisher Tom Kaczynski is coming out with a new book about um, it is called. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll all be on the lookout for it.